Wyoming's snow fences have proven effective in reducing snow blowing onto highways, but the wooden structures require a lot of maintenance. Now, YDOT is building sections of the standard fence and two new designs on the south side of Interstate 80 near Vitavu to see which is the most cost effective based on maintenance requirements. We'll have the perma rail, the uh, vertical wood fence that, that we kind of put together, and then the old conventional fence all right here together, and uh, hopefully this winter we'll get some good data. The perma rail fence uses metal posts and plastic rails. It's more expensive to build, but the maintenance costs are expected to be much lower. Uh, right now, the wood fence, uh, you have to come back yearly, and you have to uh, redo the anchors, you have to tighten all the bolts, you have to replace baseboards. The manufacturer predicts the metal and plastic fence will last more than 20 years with minimal maintenance. If the test verifies that kind of durability, the design will be considered elsewhere in the state. There isn't any place in the state that's going to have any worse wind or snow conditions than we've got here. Um, it's just, this is just a really harsh environment for anything to survive in. And if this fence makes it here, I wouldn't be afraid to put it anywhere. It's just a matter of how much we can afford and if we can strategically locate it. Reminding you to drive safe this winter and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.